Hi, you children, it's Cluffy here. Hope you're having a, a good bonfire night. I hope you're staying safe. We've been really, really busy tonight, so I've just took 10 minutes, 10 minutes out, and I'm gonna read you a bedtime story. And it's all to do with the dragon again, my friend the dragon. So, on a cold autumn night around November the 5th, bonfire nights got cancelled and we all felt a bit miffed. So mum, dad and I, and of course the dragon too, sat down and planned out what else we could do. With coronavirus cancelling our local firework display, we now have to stay home and celebrate another way. We could of course watch a film, build a den or build Lego, just as long as we stayed home by ourselves to celebrate though. But Dragon wanted fireworks, even if it was just for us four, and we agreed we'd enjoy them, and so we planned out some more. Dad went and bought some fireworks from a reputable shop, and we all got excited to hear them snap, crackle and pop. The Dragon said it's fun to see fireworks light up the night. It is, I agreed, but don't forget they can give people a fright. So we rang up our neighbour and told him what we had planned. And he thanked us and said, letting him know was real grand. See, he has a pet dog that hates fireworks too. So he said they'd both stay inside. It was the sensible thing to do. Then as night time drew near, we checked that the bonfire was clear. Because sometimes animals can burrow and hide, trying to make a home all cosy inside. We made sure it was away from the house and our tree and that everything was just as safe as could be. The dragon, of course, said to pour petrol and get it roaring. No, I said, that's really dangerous. We're not trying to be boring. You could hurt yourself with a burn from the flame, suffer a life-changing injury with only yourself left to blame. Dad read the fireworks instructions and got a bucket to hand. It was really important that it all went as planned. Fireworks are explosives and can put us in danger. Knowing how to use them safely really is a game changer. Make sure that you place them on a sturdy base and of course, when you light them, point away from your face. You should always light fireworks, not with your hand, but a taper. Then I shouted, Dad, come over here where it's safer. The fireworks went up all colourful and bright. It really was a spectacular sight. From the window, the dragon could see one had not lit, and he went to run over until I shouted, Stop! You could get it! Dad said we could have sparklers if we promised to be safe. We should hold at arm's length and keep away from our face. We'll get Dad to light it safely with a taper. We don't want to end up in hospital with a burn injury later. Little hands like ours could easily get burnt. Do you not remember all that you learnt? The firefighters told us to always wear a glove. It is important to keep safe and show our hands some love. Then mum called us over for something to eat. Butter pie, parched peas and parking. Ooh, what a treat. Soon we were sleepy, especially after we'd been fed. But there was one thing we had to do before we went off to bed. We checked and made sure the fire was definitely out. We used some sand and some water from the garden horse spout. The dragon and I had a great bonfire night at home. I can't wait to tell our friends all about it tomorrow on the phone. No, if you decide to do fireworks in your house down the road, please remember to stay safe and follow the fireworks code. If you find you need help or are worried, please call. You're not wasting anybody's time at all. I hope you enjoy that, children. And like I say, I want you to have a, I want you to enjoy your bonfire night tonight, but please, please, please stay safe. And always remember, you must let adults light the fireworks. And then when they've lit the fireworks, stand safely back. And if for any reason your clothes do catch fire, I want you to remember what I taught you earlier about stop, drop and roll. And when I say stop, drop and roll, that means if your clothes catch fire, don't run away because that'll just fan the flames. I want you to drop to the floor and I want you to keep rolling and rolling and rolling over and that will help smother the flames. So remember, stop, drop and roll. 
But I'm not here to frighten you and I want you to have a really enjoyable bonfire night. Thanks for listening. Catch you again, children. Bye-bye.